Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hang on, guys. I'm, uh, making Windows stable. It seems to be stable so far. Got a copy of it on a CD. This is a copy that would no longer work. It's a uh, Windows Vista beta back years ago when I uh, met up with Jim Alchin, who was pretty much leading the effort at the time, and told him everything that was wrong with it. He autographed the copy of the CD, and I'm not sure if this will come into focus, but it says, I'm sorry, Jim. So he apologized for Windows Vista before it shipped, but I gave him a oh I gave him a an earful of feedback on the thing. You know, uh, Windows gets a bad rap for being unstable. It, it, to me, it's less about Windows itself and more about uh, what you might do to Windows accidentally, or what your uh, the manufacturer of your PC might have done to Windows. Uh, poor software installation, uh, or, or, or I guess you know the installation of software that wasn't written well. Uh, potentially bad drivers. That's more of a hardware issue than it is the operating system issue, especially uh, since I've seen really good drivers and I've definitely run into a handful of really bad drivers. Uh, we've uh, collected an article uh, with a, a handful of tips that might help you make better decisions before you get the, the next PC running Windows, how to improve Windows 7 stability. And you may be saying, well, Chris, I'm not running Windows 7. A lot of these tips could apply to any version of Windows. And to me, it really does boil down to only installing software that you trust. Okay, I know there's an option to install anything from across the web, but as soon as you do that, you are opening yourself up to potential problems. If you want to do that, fine. But when you do run into problems, don't be so quick to blame Windows. As a platform, for what it does, it does a pretty amazing job, if you think about it. It's designed to run on a variety of hardware configurations, and it works very well. Unless the software that is running on top of Windows isn't really doing its job, or at least everything that it should be doing. So read software reviews, only grab software that you know is not going to harm your system, and just keep it as clean, lean, and mean as you possibly can. These tips we've outlined for you, and the link is in the description. Feel free to share it. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, like Brad Tomlinson, Sean Jordan, Skyler Johnson, Jamie Bouch, and Robert Glenn Fogarty have done, plus one it there publicly, so that other Windows users might be able to discover to make their Windows more stable. And if you're worried about uh, screwing anything up right now, When's the last time you did a reinstall of Windows? Start fresh. Start from scratch. It's not too late to make your Windows more stable.